Hi guys! Well, it has been really freezing cold outside and the garden is in a holding pattern, but I have been busy indoors sowing some of the early season seedlings and some of the seedlings that take a really long time to grow. So I think it's time to give you a seedling tour. Uh, they're very, very small. They've only been going for about two and a half weeks. Some of them have only been planted uh, last week, but I thought enough was up that I could show you what I have going on here. And you'll have to excuse this crazy angle because I am in a very tight spot. I can't back up anymore. So uh, let's get ready to do some close-ups and I'll show you what I have growing. Um, in the meantime, I did want to mention I got this wonderful metal shelf. I will have it in my Amazon affiliate links down below in the description box. But what I loved about it is I'm not very mechanically inclined and it only took me about 10 minutes to put together this super sturdy shelf and um, I just have it with some LED shop lights. Uh, they are not specifically plant lights, but they're doing a great job getting my seedlings started. So let's zoom in and give you a close up of some of the things I have started that are gonna need some more time to grow. Um, some of my tomatoes and things like that I'll be starting in March because they just don't do well in an indoor situation. But these are some of the plants that can go out a little earlier or just need a little more time to grow than starting at two months from now. But aren't they adorable, guys? Let's get started over here. These are violet geraniums. And um, these were only planted last week. So this one was an early one that popped out right away and I see I have two more so I'm hoping that I'll have more germination than that but I think I bought these seeds for planting last year and I only planted out a few of them and um, so you know I'm not expecting a very high germination rate but hey three geraniums from a seed pack I forgot about would be fantastic and these guys do take a while to grow and actually produce flowers and I'm not even sure they'll produce flowers this year but we'll see it's worth a try so uh, the rest of the things here are mostly vegetables and my celery you absolutely need a microscope to see this tiny little seedling here look at this I hope it's even showing up. It's sitting next to uh, a bit of a fertilizer pellet that was in my miracle Grow potting mix. And that's all I used for these. I took out some of the larger pieces of bark. And I didn't do any sifting or anything. But everything has grown just fine in miracle Grow potting mix. Not seedling mix or anything special. Just miracle Grow potting mix. And... These are probably the things I started the earliest. These are the onions. And I'm going to let them thicken up a little bit. And then they will be transplanted out into their own little cells. Um, so these are called candy onions. And they're an intermediate onion. And when you're growing onions, it's really important to plant the appropriate type for your zone. So... Um, Intermediate onions seem to work just fine in Maryland where I am growing. So uh, another couple weeks and I'll give those their own cells and they should really become more substantial. But right now they've just been started all in a clump. And then over here, these were three, two or three year old artichoke seeds. And I got three artichoke plants growing from them. So again, I planted them out, and I actually didn't expect any of them to germinate. But look at these three lovely seedlings that have emerged. So that was a thrill. I always have a thrill when I see my, my plants emerge from seeds. I, I think it's such a fun thing to do. And um, behind it here, I have collards. And... I have to say, I didn't eat any of my collards last year, but they make wonderful, uh, the leaves make wonderful soil when you just drop them, you know, they kind of crumble up and dry up, and you drop them into the soil, and they add so many nutrients for other plants. So even if I don't end up eating these collards, although they are good 
uh, stir fried up or in soup, I know that I can use this as plant fertilizer. Back here is my sprouting broccoli, and again, I didn't expect it to do so well. So it is all in a clump, and I will be separating those out when they get a tiny bit bigger. I'll be giving some of those their own little cell. Like I'll put them in six packs or 12 packs and grow them onto bigger plants. And then the other ones I'll probably eat just as microgreens. Um, none of it will go to waste, of course, but I will plant up some of those in individual pots. And then over here, I have large leaf basil, and they just sprouted. Um, and I just sprinkled a few little seeds into each cell. And guys, I didn't do any um, seed starting videos. I just followed the instructions on the packet. But here they all are, sprouting up, doing well. I expect a lot more to sprout in the next week or so, but I was happy that they started sprouting. And um, as a side note, I want to show you I'm using these wooden chopsticks from Takeout, Chinese Takeout. I've just uh, used a Sharpie, and I'm using them as plant identification sticks. I think they work pretty well. And uh, behind that, I have a couple of different types of peppers. This one happens to have a plastic tag. Oh, and you can see I planted it on the 19th of January. So this is uh, these are three little banana peppers, and I put three in one. But uh, as they grow larger, I will give them their individual pots. But for now, this is plenty, plenty of room for them uh, for this size seedling. And then each over here, I have two pots of cayenne with two plants in each of those. And my son loves to cook with hot pepper. So I will grow those and let them dry out and he can crumble those into his dishes. He likes to cook with spicy peppers. So um, banana peppers are great. They're yellow and they're, they're really nice to have on subs or salads, um, but they're not hot at all. So the only hot peppers I have planted are the cayenne. And then let's go down here. I did a lot of peppers this year because I really didn't have enough last year. So these are lunchbox orange peppers, and these are little snacking peppers. They're doing well. I had pretty good germination here. There's three cells that still aren't up, and if they don't come up, that's fine. I'll have five plants. That's plenty for me. And then in the back here, we have some dazzling blue kale, and I have some which is actually surviving outside, surviving in the winter, that I hope will continue to live into the spring and possibly summer. Um, but I thought I better plant a new batch too, but this is uh, probably the only kale I'm gonna be planting this year. This was a really cold tolerant kale and not only that it's a gorgeous plant it's kind of purpley blue and um, that's why it's called dazzling blue kale I actually did a whole video on it because I'm really in love with this plant so I wanted to make sure that I had some new dazzling blue kale to pop in and then back here we have some more peppers let me turn around my little chopstick these are um, macaroni red peppers they're a sweet red pepper so I have the sweet red pepper back there and I have some orange snacking peppers here and I have my cayenne peppers and banana peppers and then here I can show you some dirt I just planted some radishes I have red radishes and uh, white radishes coming up in clumps and I'll be planting those outside probably under a plastic dome um, maybe in about three weeks if they emerge and then over here I just planted snap peas so we'll see what happens um, wanted them to get a head start and uh, then I can plant those out really early so guys that's what I have growing those are the things that are going to take a really long time to grow into mature plants or the things that can also go out early oh by the way, I am experimenting to see if I can take cuttings
from my Meyer lemon tree that's doing so well, the one that my sister gave me. So I saw that you can take cuttings, and I had to prune a couple of the branches. So I went ahead and popped those in. I absolutely didn't need more plants, but I thought, oh, these are such, this is such a beautiful tree. Let me see if I can do a small plant for my sister. And, um, but that's it, guys. Look at how wonderful it is. This is what keeps me going till spring while I'm waiting for things to warm up. And um, these celery seedlings are absolutely <laughs> adorable. You've got to get out your magnifying glass to see them. Isn't that funny, guys? Something so small can turn into a big plant and give you chicken soup all season. Look at that. So I hope you've got some seedlings started and you're getting your gardening fixed by, by starting things early indoors. And um, stay cozy, and I'll see you next time. Bye!